Mr. Jesse. I work for the Coastal Conservation Association. What we're doing is we are building habitat today. The second thing is we're thinking about a little bit is it's about the bay's ecosystem. Through conservation and through our own human power and woman power today and manpower, we're going to be building habitat. This is going to be a two day project. And the first thing I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about right now is the why. Why do I do what I do? Why am I out here with you? Beautiful 250 pound reef balls each. We're talking 5,000 pounds of reef balls. And those reef balls are now sitting on the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay. All right, so we're closing our eyes and we're visualizing. Everyone should have their buoy inflated by now. So this is how you're gonna split up your responsibilities kind of towards the end in this home stretch. Two people should be shoveling. One to two people should be using the trowels. Anything that falls on the sides, it's easy. You grab it and you pop it back in. That's it, that's what a trowel does. The other job, you're gonna help gravity do its work with your rubber mallet as the concrete is being poured in, we're tapping the sides. At this point, I should hear just a lot of tapping like this. I'm here on day two helping out on a reef building project for the Coastal Conservation Association. The reef balls that we build are made out of cement which will be dropped into the Chesapeake Bay and the Potomac River. These reef balls are perfect for oysters to attach to and start building reefs. Oysters are nature's natural water purifier and will help clean the bay and also attract many species of fish and crabs, creating the perfect marine environment. On day one, we put together the forms for building the reef balls, which are then filled with cement. There's rubber ball placed in the middle along with some smaller balls that are placed in the mold to create spaces and open areas for fish and crabs to hide from predators. It's now day two where we get to see how all our hard work turned out and we remove the forms. If you're interested in finding out more about how you can help in the future projects or the great work the CCA is doing to protect and clean up the bay, you can Google Coastal Conservation Association or go to ccavirginia.org. This is what two days of working together, uh, creating reef balls looks like. They used 5,000 pounds of cement. Each one of these weighs about 200 pounds. And we made 20 reef balls in the last two days and they're gonna be going out. They'll cure for the next six months and then they'll put them in the water in the Chesapeake Bay and some of the surrounding rivers.